Good morning, sir. Good morning. Did you get one of these? Uh, I already did yesterday. Excellent. Did you read it? Uh, yeah, I did. What'd you think? I thought it was a very well formatted. Well, look, that's garbage. Excellent. What did you think about the argument, though? Like Isaiah, like, Lord, here I am, send me. I saw some, like, really good quotes about uh, the body in your body is not your body. Mm hmm And I was like, it's not paying rent. To get out here and to do what we're doing. It's not paying rent, no. But see, the body inside your body, that means that if that woman was pregnant, that for nine months she actually has four arms and four legs. Right? Does that, you know, does that give you a right to murder? See, that's like on the moral subject of like, is it considered murder? Well, it's not really even a moral. I mean, yes, it is a moral argument, but if I came over and jumped on you, would that be considered a good thing? All you need to do, Christians, is get out here and choke. And that also is like, it depends. You don't need some kind of special qualification. It depends? Yeah, because like, what if I'm like, I don't know, trying to like break someone? No, I'm talking about you. You're standing right here. Nice guy. Student. Yeah. Nice guy. So, what makes it wrong for me to just come over and just start pummeling on you? Uh, I mean, it's a grown man trying to pummel on a minor, and that's not a, that's assault on a minor. So it's a gr it's it's because I'm a grown man that makes it wrong. I think it's just because you know you should try to assault them. So if it's because I'm trying to assault somebody that makes it wrong. Kind of. So. But why? What makes it, what makes it wrong? What makes it wrong for me to assault you when it's okay for others to assault others? I mean, I, I understand exactly what you're trying to say, and I'm trying to tell you it's not a moral thing, although it is, but it's not just because, you know, man says it's wrong, right? It's because like, you like reference a lot of like like you reference a lot of like quotes from the Bible mm -hmm. and it's like I know you guys are like it's like it's like the word of God or like something like that and you guys like take like religion into account of this or like most of the time I'm not saying all of it actually we stand on on the word of God I mean that is the truth that is as as God's word said and as Jesus said if you build your rock on shifting sand on sand mm -hmm that uh, is here today and gone tomorrow, yeah. when a storm comes, your house will just wash away. Uh -huh. But if you build your house on the rock, yeah. okay, there's nothing that can tear it down. Yeah. If you build your house or you build your beliefs or you build your uh, reasoning on the word of men, well, then men can change their mind. I mean, men said that it was legal to kill the Jews and to kill homosexuals, right? And to kill uh, mentally handicapped people, right? Men said that. The Supreme Court actually passed a law. In 1973. No, in 1857. That said African Americans aren't people, that they too can be owned, bought, sold, raped, killed, whatever. And that's what men think. So men, men are saying that's okay. So you think that's okay? Yeah, but they're... You think that's okay? I, I don't think it's okay to kill another person of, like, species. Another person, like, species? Like, like other person. Because, see, like, cause, like, other animals, like, kill each other. Like, lions sometimes kill each other for, like, I don't know, like... To right. Be, like, head of, like, their pride or something. Right, so uh, you're comparing a lion or even dogs. Dogs yeah. tear each other apart. Roosters tear each other yeah, apart. So you're comparing them to people? I mean, most of the time, like, people will tear each other down just to get what they want. You, know? you, you hit that right on the nail, on the head, just to get what they want. Yeah. Okay, just because that's what they want, make it right or wrong? It's it's an easy question. I know you might not want to answer it, but it's an actually it's an easy question. If I wanted to to see you with a bloody nose, would that make it right for me to punch you in the nose? Actually, that would not. It would not. It, you're right. And why? Not because the policemen say it's wrong. Okay. Because you're a human being. You're valuable. You're valuable in the eyes of God. 
You're a person, right? I'm a person. That's what makes you valuable. Not because that guy said you were valuable. Because that guy could turn around and say you're not valuable. And that's what we're here to show people. We are living in a holocaust right now. A holocaust. 3,000 babies will die today. Wow, that's amazing. Huh? You know how many of my ancestors died? How many? Six million. Are you Jewish? Yeah. Okay, that, that's perfect. I mean, that's not perfect. That's terrible. Yeah. But that's a perfect example. What made them valuable? Their religion. Well, actually, what made them valuable was God, right? God's word says that they are valuable. Each, God's word said everybody is created in the image of God by the hand of God with a plan and purpose from God. That's, that's Psalms. Okay? Yeah. That's David. You know that. Okay? So what makes it wrong for Hitler to say, eh, they're vermin. Kill them. He needed a scapegoat. Uh, huh? He needed a scapegoat. You know. So, but right. But I, I understand that. Just like, all right, look. Never forget that everything that Hitler did in Germany was perfectly legal. According to the word of men. Okay, that's Martin Luther King Jr.'s quote. Okay, and just what made the he Jews authoritarian government? He was the government. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. So that would say if that guy there in the orange shirt was elected uh, Fuhrer of the United States, and he decided that all students under the age of eighteen aren't valuable, we can kill them. No, of course not. Because God's word declares that they are valuable. God's word declares that they have worth. And God knew them before they were formed in the womb. Also Old Testament, you should know that too. Okay, well, you know, I'm, I'm trying to, to, to show you what your heritage, I mean, you claim, you know, that your people were killed. So you're claiming that heritage. Yeah. Okay, this is what your heritage believes in. Okay, so now what did God do when the Jews intermingled with the Gentiles and then decided to start creating idols and killing their children to those idols? Okay, they, all, they built a, a, a god, Molech, big statue, hollow statue made of bronze, and they would heat it up with big fire. And then they would kill their children on the, in the arms of Molech, seeking blessings for their families, for their crops, for their lives. Okay? What made that wrong? God's word made it wrong. And he wiped out entire people for doing that. And we're doing the same thing here. I mean, people, I mean, some people are just evil people. Okay? Some people are just evil people. Okay? But other people, they kill their children because, well, you know, I got to go to school. Or my mother will get mad. Or this reason. Or that reason. Or this reason. Or that Shane. reason. Wait, Shane. Shane. What's that sign? Okay. That's Shane. Shane, the pro-life Catholic. Okay? Who's standing with people supporting the murder of children. I think it just comes down to your opinion. So, if it's my opinion that that the Jews weren't valuable, then that's my opinion, so we should kill them. Right? It's my opinion, right? Yeah, totally. You are totally entitled to your opinion. And right, so what makes that wrong? There's nothing wrong with your opinion. Right, so that I should be able, so then there, there was, so what you're saying is then there was nothing wrong with the uh, mass murder of the Jews in the 40s and the 30s? What? Murder. What? Why? Why? Because you said so? Your friend over there is apparently conversing with them about signs. Actually, he's, he's talking with them. Yeah. He's, he's actually doing a live... Yeah, he's doing a live video. Uh, Facebook. Okay. Facebook. Uh, yeah. um, but you, you, you're deflecting. Yeah. Okay? Because you don't want to answer my question. Because if you answer my question and you answer it honestly, it'll back you into a corner. And it'll back you into a corner where you're going to either have to say, the Jews were not valuable, or they were. They were very 
very valuable. That's right, they were. And I asked you why. And it's not just your opinion that makes them valuable. Because if you have an opinion that says they are, I have an opinion that says they're not, so where do we go? Whoever's strongest wins? No. You don't want that, do you? Whoever's strongest wins? That's how bullies do things. You gotta realize, brother, they're killing people. And they're doing it two times every minute. The 10, 15 minutes you've been standing out here. 20 babies have died. Or 30, depending on if it's 15 minutes you've been out here. Two every minute of every hour of every day. Like in the United States or around? In the United States. Oh, okay. That's not the world. The world's a lot higher. Okay? That's just in the United States. Two times. Every minute. And that's not counting all of them. That's just counting the surgical ones. Okay? Because in this country, we do not count those that we kill with our U-486. We do not count the ones that we kill with the Plan Bs at Walmart. We do not count the ones in the states that don't feel like counting them, like California and New York and Florida, the biggest killing states in the country. That's just the ones we count. And you're here at high schools. One in three women will kill their children. Would, One in like three. Would or will? Will. Yeah. It's, that's... That uh, seems like a very odd statistic. Huh? It seems like a very odd fact. Or like statistic. It's a very odd statistic? Yeah, it's very odd. It's the truth. So... It's the truth. And I hate to tell you, we stand down at the clinics. This isn't just here. One in three women in there will kill their children. Okay? And one of every two of them will kill more than one. Texas, in fact, has the highest rep, uh, repeat rate of abortions in the country. Well, bought more than one child. Texas, right here, 60,000 every year. Murdered. Every year. Every year. And that's just the ones, like I said, that we count. We don't count the chemicals. We don't count those things. That's just the surgical abortions. That's just this. Yeah. That's what this is. That's what that is. That's a surgical abortion where they go in and they rip the baby out. We're not counting the ones where they give them a pill that poisons their baby. Okay? And I really, you know, I, 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 I thank you first off. My name is Matt, by the way. Uh, oh what? Uh, I'm not going to say my name okay. for the recording. Okay. Um, but I thank you for speaking. See, most of these people, they don't want to know facts. They don't want to know truth. Statistics. Huh? Statistics. Not you. What about statistics? No, like, I'm just saying, like, trying to, like, you know, it's just statistics. It's not like, I'm not saying that they're not facts, they're just statistics. A statistic is a fact. Okay? You know, it's a fact that one in three women kill their children. It's a fact that one in three women in this school will kill their children. Will kill their children. Yeah. Look, at, and look over here. Count women. Count women. Go ahead. Go ahead and count women. And go one, two, she's going to kill her child. One, two, she's going to kill her child. One, two, she's going to kill her child. It's actually pretty disgusting. It's actually pretty disgusting. And this is what they're promoting. Nobody, but nobody has the right to kill another person. Nobody. I mean, I think you would agree. Because if you don't, then I, then I can argue that, well, people had the right to kill Jews. People had the right to own and kill African Americans. And that's yeah. what the law of man says. The law of man says, yes, you do. Okay. I appreciate you. Hey, thank you for speaking. You're welcome. God bless you. You have a good day.